everyone, my name is Zaji and today I'm bringing you a haul and this is going to be a drugstore slash Ulta haul slash YouTube made me buy it haul situation because I have been eyeing a few things in the drugstore that I really want to try and I really just haven't had the time to really go by and get it because I was in school and obviously I needed to spend more time on other stuff and I knew if I bought it it would just sit and I wouldn't use it but whatever I'm out of school now so I decided to go and pick up some things that I've been seeing some youtubers talk about and we're just gonna get on into it I'm gonna start with Walgreens only because I got the fewest number of things from there. So the first thing that I got is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I got mine in the shade Coco. And I got this because I've seen so many different YouTubers talk about it but I haven't seen any of the brown skin YouTubers that I follow talk about it. I've seen like Tati Westbrook talk about it and I'm pretty sure that um, Casey Holmes has done a video but I haven't seen any of my you know brown skin girls, my WOCs um, try this foundation out so I am going to be doing a video on this and you'll see my thoughts and opinions on this foundation as soon as that video goes up so please subscribe so that you don't miss that when it comes out. And the last thing that I got from Walgreens was basically this uh, Colossal Big Shot mascara, the one that Manny MUA and Makeup Shayla um, are like the brand ambassadors for, I think. I'm pretty sure they're like the brand ambassadors or whatnot. So they're like in the commercial and I saw the commercial like come on a thousand times before some YouTube videos that I was watching and I was just like, are you kidding? Okay, fine. I'll freaking get the get the foundation, get the mascara. But um, I like it because I love my definite seals, but it only really gives me a lot of length. It doesn't really give me that much volume. So um, I saw Makeup Shayla use this also on her Snapchat because I follow her there too. She used this in one of her like kind of get ready with me snap story situations and it looked awesome on her lower lash line and I wear lashes um, for like tutorials and like when I'm going out to do something special but on a day to day basis I'm really just wearing mascara because I can't be fussed to put on <laughs> lashes and so um, I am interested to see how this actually turns out or works out turns out whatever now let's move on to Ulta and I got just a few things from there as well so this is I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as I can. The first thing that I got from Ulta, which was like one of the things that I'm most excited about, I haven't been like one of those like, oh, I'm trying to find the next like drugstore beauty blender situation because I like my beauty blender and um, before the beauty blender I had a sponge from Sally's but they don't carry it anymore and I hate using it in videos because I know it's super old and I probably should throw it away but I just I love the color of it and I only have one actual beauty blender so I was like before I buy another beauty blend blender and just like completely settle in on the fact that I love the beauty blender I'm going to try some other drugstore um, like alternatives basically and so this one is the one that I picked up and it's the eco tools oh my god what is this perfecting blender duo and I got this because I'm pretty sure I saw a youtuber talk about it I can't think right now of who it was I my mind tells me Nikki tutorials but like I'm probably wrong I don't know oh my god this package is like are you serious these feel super firm they kind of feel how my um what's it called my uh Sally's sponge felt like that's kind of what it feels like it's very very firm I wonder how if these would soften up any um, when you get like when you would get them wet but I like the fact that my other one was pretty firm because it really pushed the product into my face and I really love the coverage that it gave and this one claims to be like really high coverage and um, it has two because like one is supposed to be for something and the other is supposed to be for another like I don't really care I'm gonna use these however I feel like using them but I like the fact that you get kind of like two sizes so this could be for like under the eye and this could be like for all over the face the only thing is I have a small head so I don't really know like 
I don't really like for sponges to get super huge because I have a little head and like if I'm going on my forehead I'm getting foundation and concealer all up in my hair and all over the place um, so we'll see I'm really more interested in using this one this one if it puffs up like if it gets big like how the beauty blender gets big when it's wet this is gonna be way too big so I mean I am really excited to use these and um, I'll let you guys know how that goes the next product that I got um, I really purchased this because obviously when I show you this you're gonna know exactly why I purchased it everyone and their mom raves about this for one reason or the other so it's the Tarte Shape Tape. Let me take it out. I've already used it. I just put it back in the box because like, feels. Anyway, so I'm not a fan of purple, by the way. Like, purple is like not my favorite color by any means. Standard, whatever. I do not really care for purple. So like, the gold and purple packaging is just like, not my favorite at all. However, I did use this and when people tell you that, like when you're, gurus that you watch tell you that this concealer is like paint it is super high coverage super 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 high coverage they ain't lying to you i put barely any of this on my face like barely any of it and it still covered really well the only thing is i didn't think that because i have normal skin i don't have dry skin and most of the youtubers that i watch that have dry skin they say that you know they can't use it up under their eyes because it's too drying yeah, I have normal skin and I agree. It gets pretty cakey underneath the eyes. Um, so that kind of sucks because I did get this to use under my eyes because I wanted it to be very bright and very full coverage. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to mix this. And I would have no problem mixing this with my other concealer. However, like, why did I get this if I'm going to have to mix it? I don't like to mix stuff. That's, like, not my thing. I'm not, like, a mixer kind of person like I want the one thing and I want that to work so I will play with this I only used it once so I could be wrong I just maybe need a different technique I don't know but um so far I do I like it I can see potential in it you know but I definitely did cave and buy this because of YouTube and I got the shade uh, tan sand because Alyssa Ashley uses tan sand and I feel like her and I are similar skin tones she may be a little bit lighter than me but you know I'm kind of feeling it I'm kind of feeling it I like the color it's all good I like it the last thing that I got from Ulta is the essence shape your face contouring palette and this is in the shade 10 ready set peach girl I use this today as well because I couldn't wait this palette is so freaking nice. I got this because of Casey Holmes. Reason why I buy pretty much anything, Casey Holmes. Um, I love her, I love her recommendations. I really like I really have found that everything that she's recommended I get or her viewers get, not just me. Um, has worked out outside of the Anastasia Foundation. Casey, I'm coming for you because why you make me buy that? If you haven't seen my review on that, I will link that down below because... <sighs> anyway, this palette, I don't know if this is the same shade that she got or if she has a different shade in this palette, but this contour shade right here... Do you see this cheekbone? Girl. This contour shade is perfect for my skin tone. I love this. Not only is it only $5.99, it's so pigmented, like I barely had to tap my brush in there to get this contour situation and it blended out pretty easily. The blush, however, is not a blush. If you are my skin tone or if you're my skin tone or darker, you will use this as a highlight, girl. But I like this palette very much, and I definitely bought it because of YouTube. That's really all the products that I bought. I just 
really went to go buy these products because of YouTubers. And I know that there are some of you out there that are also buying this stuff because of YouTubers that you watch. And I mean, that's what YouTubers are here for. That's what I'm here for to kind of recommend products that work for me. And I've tried some of these things and I think that some of them really are going to work out for me and others I'm like, ooh, I don't know. So I will be doing more hauls and showing you guys these products in future videos. So if you want to catch that content, then do not forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you do like the idea of me doing more hauls on my channel. But I don't think I have anything else to say, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.